than 90 hunters and 34 volunteers showed up to participate in today's event. Decked out in camouflage from head to wheel, Daryl Gray grew up hunting, surviving Vietnam, then injuring his spine during a military training exercise. Then after I got injured and everything, I thought, oh well, that's out the door now. I won't be able to even pursue my love and passion for hunting and fishing. That all changed when the VA gave him an outdoor sports activities chair. And I got a trailer hitch on the back. I can pull two deer out of the woods at the same time. Gray joins a room full of hunters with a passion for the outdoors and a story to tell. I got hit by a drunk driver in 1994. Losing his right leg. I had anger for a little while and then I just cope with it and moved on. I mean, I ain't gonna let my disability get me down. Ricky Childers says hunting is his escape from reality, a place where he can just relax. You gotta do it easy and quiet. SEDNR wildlife biologist Mark Carroll says an event like this requires several volunteers. Volunteers will get them in trucks and on trailers and four-wheelers and ATVs and carry them out to their hunt sites um, and put them in ground blinds. As opposed to traditional deer stands, Carol says the adaptive hunt attracts people from as far away as Alabama and Virginia ready to take aim regardless of their limitations. It's not just a hunt, it's a camaraderie. DNR will host a hunt next weekend for Newberry and Lawrence counties. That's going to be at the Clinton National Guard Armory. Brenna McDavid, WYFF News 4 in Union County.